Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to build the second version of our humidifier. This one will be bigger, better and waterproof. Step 1. Finding a suitable container. We're at the shop. We're looking for a bigger box for our humidifier. We'll see what the biggest box is that they have. Let's get inside. So we just found a uh, 140 liters uh, box. I'm just looking if the lid is suitable for our purpose. So as you can see the size is good, but the problem is that the lid is not waterproof and it will be quite difficult to get it waterproof. Some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that they don't have what we need in this store. The good news is that they do have it in another store, so we're going to go to that store. All right, we're back at the farm and we got our box. Here it is. It has a big capacity, so you don't have to fill it every day. We have a rubber gasket on the lid. This prevents air and water leakage. We found this really important because we don't want water to spill out. Before I show you what our second version will look like, we will start by looking at the first. So one hole is for the vent. This will push air into the second hole. And here we will have a ducting which goes into the growth end. The first time we just used a hot knife to make the holes. This is an easy process, but it takes a lot of time. For the second version, we have the appropriate tools with us today. So it's the same process here. We're going to make the two holes. I'm using the old lid just because it's easier. Don't forget the hole for the cable. This time we brought a drill with us. It's way too hard with the drill, it takes too much time, so we're going back to the basics. So as you can see, I'm heating up the blades. This way it cuts smoothly through the plastic. So now we have to align the holes to the lids and make the final holes and then we are done. I'll just make a hole with, with the drill. Now I'm tightening the bolts from the other side to make it all secure. All right, to be a bit more specific, for our mist we use a 9 disc mist maker. This one we got from House of Hydro. It's a reliable brand. For the ventilator we're also going with House of Hydro. You need to have a waterproof fan. It's better safe than sorry when you're working with water and electricity. The disc maker also comes with a float. Make sure that there is no soap left behind. Time to fill up the box. I placed the ducting through the hole. The disc maker and the float are also in the box. Let's see if everything went well and it works. Everything went well. The mist is going through the vent. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.